All right. Hello, my friends. In this video, we are going to go over how we use basic strategy with a higher time frame backing it up, backing up a lower time frame entry for a successful trade versus the same lower time frame basic strategy looking pretty good but the trades would not have worked out because they did not have higher time frames backing them up and then there's another situation where it's kind of 50 50 so super important let's get right after it so the specific this trade actually it's a live trade i am in it right now uh, as we're recording this video this is a bitcoin BTC, USDT, USDT, Bitcoin uh, trade here. And again, Market Cypher works with any anything that can be charted, whether it's gold, currency, Forex, uh, stocks, you could, options, whatever, gold, cattle, cattle futures. Any, any asset that can be charted, Market Cypher works with, you could do this. Okay? So uh, we got in at 37,260. Took a little bit of profits here. We're at uh, realized sixteen thousand five hundred forty-six dollars taken home. Still fifty-four thousand unrealized. And let's go after. Let's talk about why we entered and how it's different from others. So we're on the four minute. This was the uh, time frame that I used to enter this trade. And you see here we have our big green dots that came up momentum came down deep and then momentum sharply rose boop, boop, boop. that is an increase in momentum from deep green dots our money flow came down and started to outwardly curve back up beautiful our rsis green close together on the upward trajectory beautiful just had a nice drop over here you know candles coming up we use hiking and sheet candles looks great now why did this one work out but if we go back in history we're gonna mark we're gonna mark this one this is beautiful basic strategy right here a lot of green dots, deep, thick momentum, sharply rose, R size came up. This one worked out really good, really good. And then we go back to this one and this one. These two seem like they did not work out too well. We had money flow come down on the upward trajectory. Green dots, momentum came up nice. R size looked beautiful. And price, you know, the price came up during this money flow. So that's all right. But in a, in the right situation, you should be able to enter right here, basically. When the money flow crosses the zero line and have a profitable trade. And, and the price did come up, you know, a decent little amount, almost 1%. So technically you could say that did kind of work out. Money flow turned. But I, I'm not going to count this one. I, I'm going to say this is not a winner. Um, and then we have this one. Money flow. Curve coming up. Green dots down here. Momentum up. R size green tight. And this just didn't have a shot at all. Straight down. So what's the difference? And why did this one work out? The trade that I'm in. This one worked out. This one kind of maybe I'm going to say no. And this one definitely did not. So let's go ahead and mark these where we would have entered. We'll say uh, we'll put that one right there to be conservative. Put that one right there to be conservative as well. So again, we're on the four minute time frame. So we're going to go to the hourly higher time frame 
and see what the difference is. So, on the trade that I'm actually in, well, actually, let's start with the bad trades. On the bad trades, look at this one hour. Money flow coming straight down. RSI's coming straight down. Momentum coming straight down. So, this four minute entry did not have the higher time frames backing it up. Therefore, it crapped out. Pretty much same thing with this one. Let's go back to the hourly. This one, couple of wicks, potentially, you know, you, you could have gotten in and gotten out quick. This one worked out. And here's what I'm gonna say about this entry, this one right here. Um, money flow was still coming down. It was on a big green dot. And while the trade did work out and it worked out really good, I'm gonna say it kind of got lucky in that we want to be assured when we enter our trade. We want to know that it's going to work. Trading is not supposed to be the casino. It's not supposed to be gambling. You know, patterns, for example, a bull flag has a 51 or 52% uh, chance. Head and shoulders, it's pretty much the same. Those are not percentages that I feel comfortable with risking my hard-earned money. And you probably don't feel, you probably feel the same way. So, well, let's go to like the, the 30 minute on this one. Okay, so on this one, money flow, we're on the 30 minute now. Came all the way down. It was just kind of at the tip. Maybe if it came up a little bit, maybe you could have entered in. What about the 15? Okay, so here money flow is coming up. Uh, it wasn't really guaranteed. Maybe the 10 minute. The 10 minute, now the 10 minute looked pretty good on that one. But still didn't really have the larger time frames. This was a this was a higher higher risk entry. It definitely worked out. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Good for you guys. Good for whoever took this trade. Um, but I did not take it, and so uh, this is the one I took. I took this one because higher time frame backed up. It was already in the red, coming up beautiful trigger wave right here. Worked out great, right? So that's the difference between having a higher time frame back you up with a lower time frame entry. So what am I going to do with this trade now moving forward? So let's kind of analyze that. And I just actually took a couple profits a few minutes ago before recording this video, the 16,000. And I'll kind of, let's kind of analyze that. So if we go to, you know, the daily, let me get rid of some of these here to clear up the chart. We go to the daily. We see overall, man, the the flow of cash coming in is at a local high, steaming. So I have a bullish bias um, when it comes to these time frames. Go to the two day, the higher time frame. Our yellow VWAP waves coming up, money flow increasing big time our momentum still up here our size very strong so um I, i'm i'm still bullish you know overall if we go to the 12 hour we see that our money flow is kind of starting to decrease a little bit momentum decrease a little bit let's go to the six hour now we see our money flow decreasing pretty good. Momentum is still holding, though. This momentum is holding. But, you know, how far can price come down? This is our entry. Price can come down. You know, and it's, this is a little channel right here. It's had its breakout of the channel, right? Maybe it's going to come back and test the top of the channel again before it goes up. So, something super important here. I personally do not 
like to add in to DCA to dollar cost average a losing position. It is very dangerous. Unless it's like a guaranteed thing. I do like to double down into winning trades, green trades, when the time is right. So, on the six hour, we have our momentum potentially clipping, right? On the previous ones, the price kind of come down a lot, but we just broke out of the channel. So, I'm kind of optimistic. I don't want to close my whole trade because then I lose that cushion if it doesn't go down that much. But, at the same time, if it comes all the way back down, you know, I don't want to be sitting here with my hands in my pockets going, oh, man, I missed out. And by the way, I didn't exit up here because I was asleep. Yes, I was in this trade, set my set my stop losses. Don't go to sleep on a trade without protection. And so it would have been nice to uh, get out up here, though. I tell you, I would have made like 160000 That's all right. Not worth crying over spilled milk. So, uh, anyways... Go to the hourly. On the hourly, look at this. We we pretty much we got a head and shoulders on momentum. Very very strong head and shoulders on momentum waves. Play out. Coming down here, mo money flow kind of coming down. Momentum coming down. So it's got a little bit a little worrisome. A little worrisome. Blood diamond right there. So I think this price is going to come down a little bit. Therefore, I am taking some profits. Me personally, I'm not gonna close the whole trade let's see if we can limit out here a little bit I make sure that i have close entered at the limit button this is 112 bitcoin 4.2 million let's do another 12 bitcoin right here and let's put it at 23.8 all right let's see her let's see if we can exit a little bit live and we're dotted. Here's our here's our exit right here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Don't overcomplicate things. Let the the trades come to you. Don't force trades. There's gonna be plenty of them. Uh, if you miss out on a trade, deal with it and wait for the next one. It will be there. But you always want to have your higher time frames backing up your lower time frame entries other than that that's pretty much it uh we could be here for a while waiting to see if uh we can hit this limit entry um but that's pretty much it guys other than that i'm gonna play it by ear you know or by eye and um, who knows, maybe I'll end up closing the whole trade. But as of now, again, I have a bullish bias. Um, geez, on this last one, the price came down. This was 5%, I think. Let's see here. From here down, 5%. That's a big drop. And it's possible to happen. So, you know, we're not out of the woods on this trade. What I'm hoping for is, you know, for this money flow to come down. And start, you know, in the red and start curling back up with this price action not going down too deep. So, we're going to find out, though. Oh, looks like this limit entry hasn't hit yet. Let's have a little fun. Let's go to the super low time frames here. Let's clean this up a little bit. We're on the 32nd. And it looks like money flows curving back down. Let's go to the 5 second. Ooh, we're deep. Deep in the red, deep in the red. We'll see if this support can hold up. Let's go to the one second. Why not? All right. Money flow picking back up a little bit on the one second. Let's see her come back up here. Come on, baby. And we do works on any time frame, large or small. Yep, she's deep in the red, deep in the red. Maybe I'll just mark it out this little 12 here huh yeah let's go ahead and just mark it out we want it we want our money we want it now 12 bitcoin 
Actually, let's do the limit. Let's do the limit. It's coming down. Maybe we can catch a bounce back up. Okay, 709, 7090, 70987. Boom. All right, come on, baby. We're dumping the market as we speak. We're manipulating the price of Bitcoin. Just kidding. That's pretty much it, guys. All right, you know what? We're going to go ahead and mark it. Mark it out. 12 Bitcoin. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom. And profit taken. We have $21,792 profit taken. This thing is coming down. This thing is coming down. I don't know, guys. I might want to take this whole trade. Might want to, I'm going to keep my eye on it. Stay level headed. 37,258. Yeah, our entry 37,260. Eh. I'm going to stay in. We got 3.8 million still in. It was a 5.5 million dollar trade at the start. So I'm going to let the rest kind of ride for now. See what happens next because if this thing curves back up. I want this cushion. I want this cushion. Other than that, guys, that's it. That's how you use basic strategy correctly. You want a larger time frame backing you up. Just like if you're a policeman or a fireman or a, a military man. When there's a situation with risk, any amount of risk, you always want to have some backup. Till next time, guys. Thank you. We appreciate you being a part of the Market Cipher family. Let the opportunities come to you. And we're going to keep empowering traders here at Market Cipher. Thank you, guys.